Hoso, Nitanwe Makinok, in the Aswis in this Aswisian Skimoka Tuque, in it Totamuasa, in it Skiwaki no Matno Mene Kihi. I just introduced myself to you. My name is Don Wilbur, and I'm from the Bear Clan, and I live in Menominee country. I'm here to, I'm here to speak for Natanwe Makinuk, for all my relatives that cannot speak for themselves. The four-legged, the bears, wolves, moose, the winged ones, the eagles, hawks, and cranes, the swimmers, the sturgeon, trout, and northern and walleye, the plants, the trees, herbs, and medicines, and all those that help heal us, they all count on these wetlands for survival. Taking that away is taking their, taking away their homes. Displacement of them, them hurts not only them, but us as humans too. We are all conceived and carried in water before we are born. The water, this river, she takes care of all those things and so many of us who live here. She takes care of us and doesn't ask for much in return, except maybe for us to keep her clean and respect her as she does us. Manifest destiny looks to be still hard at work here. So not only removing people, humans, from their own homes, now removing every living being from their home and just expect it to be okay. At one time, there used to be buffalo and moose, to name a few, who dwelled here. Now it is highly rare sight to see them. They've been pushed away like they are nobody, expected to carry on like nothing has happened. It is our responsibility to take care of them. That is why we are here, to speak for them, because they are not being heard. What is the plan to fight a tornado, floods, or earthquakes? No human construction has ever been able to withstand what Creator and Mother Earth can dish out. There is nothing you can say before you build that, before you build that can ever fully protect against natural disasters. How can anyone possibly assure this mine won't pollute or destroy? They can't. You cannot outwit the Creator. You must know that. So just because this application is administratively correct on paper does, doesn't mean it's environmentally correct, morally correct, or humanely correct. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Kyle Humphrey and Douglas Steven.